Okay. So, as I was saying, so to, tomorrow you'll have a formative on the first three days of what we did in class. Okay. So, adding integers, subtracting integers, uh, which number is bigger, putting number, line number, line, all that kind of stuff. Because of that, we have short notes today. And then my plan is after we get done with notes, we're going to hand back. It's homework hand back day. And because homework, you need to look over that so that you get ready to go. So you're ready to go for tomorrow. Some of you have some couple of tweaks to, to fix. Some of you got all the right and, and got all the points and, and all that fun stuff. So we got that. We'll do that. Yeah. So in your notes today, we are on um, A4. Okay. So there's a little dog bath for you. Good little little ha ha hee ha joke. A little math math humor, if you will. Got this little chart, this little flow chart. Okay. So I'm actually kind of not a fan of it, but that's all right. We can we can figure it out. We'll be able to we'll be able to work it out. Okay. I wish there was more more boxes on this but okay. So you want to add two numbers. Because okay. really, subtraction is just adding the opposite, right? Right? We learned that yesterday in the warm-ups, okay? Minus 6 is really just like plus negative 6. So we're going to add two numbers. Okay. And would this work with any two numbers? Yeah, it would. So the difference here is now you're either going to add a positive number and that's the highlighter. Highlighter is what we're looking here. Is we're adding that positive number, what we want. Okay. All right. So if we're going to add a positive number. What do we do? We got two different ways of doing it, right? We've got the number line way, and we've got the um, those rules that we've been going over the last three days. Okay? So if the signs are the same, we'll say. The signs are the same, then what? Look back in your notes. We did it yesterday, we did it the day before, we did it the day before that. If the signs are the same, what do we do? So it's positive plus a positive, negative plus a negative. What do we do with the digits? We do the digits. We add the digits. What about the sign? Keep the sign. Okay, so we add the digits, keep the sign. Okay. What if the signs aren't the same? What do we do with the digits? Literally turn one page back. It's right there. Literally turn two pages back. It's right there. You can even turn three pages back. It's right there. Use your notes. 
Use your nose. Of the bigger one, right? So we subtract sine of bigger one, right? Now, if we're adding a positive number, right, then on a number line, which way would we be going? Because we're adding a positive number, up or right. So if we're using a number line, and we don't have to use that number line if we don't want to, okay? but it's there for us, it's on all of our tests for us, it's all good. Okay? It's in your notes for you, we can use it if we want to, we're going to go up or right depending on if it's a vertical number line or a horizontal. Okay? Right? So that's all the stuff for adding a positive number. Now, what if we are adding negative number. Color highlight. What about these two? adding a negative number. If the signs are the same, what do we do with them? Anything change? Something change you think? You tell me. If we're adding, so if we're adding a negative number and the two signs are the same, so now we would have negative and negative, what do we do? Add the digits. And, and, literally you just wrote it down. Add the digits and keep the sign. Nothing changes in that one. Okay? Nothing changes in that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now. Moving all of things around. What if the signs are different? So now we would have a positive, oops, this is a positive adding to a negative. But what do we do with the digits? Subtract the digits, okay? Sign of the bigger one, right? Number line. Down or which way? Left. Yep. Okay. 
computer can't keep up with my writing. It's going so slow. <laughs> All right, so you try those three now, okay? Try these three, negative 2 plus 9, 14 minus negative 6, 17 plus negative 9. You try those three, come up with answers for A. Negative 2, so we started down at negative 2. Adding 9 means we're going to go up on our number line. We go all the way up 9 spots where we end up at... Seven. Yes. Seven there. Okay. Fourteen minus a negative six. Well, that's kind of like fourteen. If I switch this to addition, well, I've switched these two, right? Which means I've got to switch this one from negative six to positive six. Okay. So we could write it like that. Or yesterday, we also talked about going in the opposite directions with subtraction. So normally on a number line with subtraction, we would go down. But because we're subtracting a negative, we're actually going to go up. Okay. So we should have 20 there for this one. 20. Seventeen plus negative nine. Which direction on the number line am I going to go? One hand going up and down, one hand going up. Right. Which way am I going on the number line from seventeen? Starting at seventeen. Adrian says we're going up. Do we agree with Adrian that we're going up? Why not? Tasha, why not? So you said no. Yeah. Or did you say yes? You said yes? I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. Mine. Okay. Who doesn't agree that we're going up on the number line on this one? On number three. Anybody? Which direction should we be going? Why not? So we're adding a negative. Yep. Adding a negative was down on the number line. Okay. So this would be start at 17. Down 9 should get me to 8. Exactly. Boom, no. okay. The next line says... What do you do if there's two signs? Oops, come on now. What do you do if there's two signs between the numbers? You can put them in parentheses. You can put the, the sign that's next to the number in a set of parentheses. Yep, exactly. We're not scared of two signs between numbers because we've given you the tools to be able to do that. So that's what we're talking here is like these numbers two and number three. Okay? If you follow the rules for subtraction, okay? so we're subtracting a negative. The rules yesterday said that means we will up on our number line or right on our number line. Okay? Or adding a negative, we've been doing that all week. Do you need today's two, Mrs. Memory? What was yesterday? A3. Okay. Yep. I'm good on today. Okay. Thank you. No problem. So we've got two signs between the numbers. We're not scared. Okay. Okay. We're just going to follow our rules. Okay. Oh, there is more down here. Oh, man. Now, what happens if there's three numbers? What happens if there's three 
number. What do we do? What do we do? Come up with a strategy. What can we do if there's three numbers? But yet, yeah. we could add a parenthesis. Where would you add parentheses? Like, I don't like here, like that. I don't, I don't know what you mean by in the middle. You know what I mean? Like around what two numbers would you add parentheses? Or around what number would you add parentheses? Or around what operation? You got to be a little more specific. You know what I mean? Because I could put that set of parentheses pretty much anywhere. When you just say add a parentheses, I don't know what you mean. You know what I mean? What do you want to add around? What do you want to add around? You show me on your paper where you would put the parentheses. Around the 20? Okay. All right, so you would go like add plus negative 20. So you, you would write it like this. Like that. Fifty-fifty shot. Yeah, that's legal. You could do that. Okay. Is that getting us any closer to getting an answer, though. Kind of making it a little more simpler because now everything's addition, right? Okay, so that made it simpler for us. Okay, but what do we need to do first? Or can I do it all at once? No. So what do I got to do first? Yep. What about the negative 5? So I got to do this part first, is what you're saying. I got to do this part first, right? Because I can only take two at a time. If there's four, or five, six numbers, I'm only ever really adding two of them at a time. Okay? Even the highest level of calculus students, okay? They're only ever adding two numbers at a time. Okay? Okay? So we can do that. So negative 5 plus 25. How much is that? 20. So this part gets me 20. And now I still have that plus negative 20. Or if you didn't choose to put parentheses around that, it would still be minus 20 here. So what is 20 plus negative 20 or 20 minus 20? Zero. So my final answer here then is zero. Okay. You try now number five. Eight plus negative three. How much? Five, right? Because we start at eight, we go down three, it's me to five. So that one's five. Then we'll do this one as just as minus twelve. We won't change it around like we did the last one. So we see both ways. Five minus twelve. Which way am I going from five on the number line? Up or down? Down 12, gets me all the way down to negative 7. Yep. Negative 7. Yep. Good, good times. Yep. <coughs> Remember on these ones, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to rewrite it. So anytime that there's a W, we're going to put in negative 2. Anytime that there is an X, we're going to put in 15. And anytime that there is a Y, we're going to put in negative 5. So the first thing that we should do when we see X plus Y is we should say that is 
15 plus y is negative 5. So we should write it out like that so we don't have any confusion with the lettering and the numbers and all that fun stuff. Okay? 15 plus negative 5. So which way on the number line am I going from 15? Down how many? 5. Put me at 10. Yep, it gets me to 10. Alright? You now try the next two. So this first one, we're going the opposite of y, so that would be the opposite of negative 5, plus w is negative 2. Well, what's the opposite of negative 5? 5? Positive 5? Just 5? Regular old 5? Yep, exactly. So this is just regular old 5 plus negative 2. 5 plus negative 2 is? Start at 5. Which direction? Down 2. Puts me at 3. And y is negative 5 plus 5 plus negative y, so that would be the inverse of the inverse, or of negative 5, I should say, the opposite of negative 5, plus then, well, okay. negative 5 plus 5. So these two right here, negative 5 plus 5, 0 goes away, all right? So that part right there is 0. The opposite of negative 5 is 5, so then this would be plus 5 plus 12. So we start at 0, which direction do we go to add 5? Up 5, put me at? Right? Then we go up 12 more, because we're adding up 12 more, leaves me at 17. Seventeen for that one. Okay, so what's going to happen now is for the remainder of class, I'm going to hand out tonight's homework. If you haven't turned in yesterday's homework, make sure you turn that in, first and last name on top. And then after that, I'm going to hand back um, whatever homeworks we have for you so that you can. And then once I get those handed back, then I'll explain what you can do with them. Okay?